playing a lounge like this, playing a large nightclub, doing concerts, performing, is the goal of so many people. They want to fill a room like this on a ship or in Las Vegas or in New York. They want to fill these couches. They want to sell drinks. They want to get applause. But the life of leisure, the lounge life, the lazy life of Laodicea, the life of licentiousness and lasciviousness. Let me ask you a question. Where does it lead? All the drugs, the booze, the women, the whiskey, the wine. As I come to you from this empty lounge, where does it lead? America needs God the Holy Spirit, not spirits. Look at all the alcohol. These are spirits. They're called spirits. This is how demons, devils, evil spirits, and fallen angels possess and oppress people. Absolute vodka, rum, look at the alcohol. Look at it. These are spirits. And people flock to bars and clubs and lounges like this to get spirits. But ladies and gentlemen, what we need are not spirits but the Holy Spirit of Almighty God. In Ephesians chapter 5, Paul the Apostle, Paul the Apostle says, Be not drunk with wine, because that's excess. But instead, be ye being filled with the Holy Spirit on a potential basis, on a, on a continual perennial basis. The answer is the baptism in the Holy Spirit the blood of Jesus Christ and being born again. It is not getting drunk with wine. Paul says in that same context, he says, be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit of God. People want to be revelers. They want to have a party. But where does it lead? It leads to one place. It leads to everlasting, eternal burning hell. That's where Vegas leads. That's where South Beach in New York and LA leads. There's no South Beach in hell. There's no South Beach in hell. There's no Las Vegas in hell. There's no casinos in hell. And so as I come to you from this empty lounge, as I come to you from this empty club, I want you to think about what it all means. I want you to think today about where it all leads. I want you to think what happens when the party's over. What happens when they play the last song? What happens when you drink your last drink, do your last drug, smoke your last cigarette? What happens? Where will you spend eternity? Where will you spend forever? I know that doesn't play well. I know that won't make me a rich, famous preacher. I know that won't make me a popular preacher. But I don't care. The baptism in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, being born again, the new birth, that's the answer. That's what America needs. That's what Columbia needs. That's what we all need. Coming to you from... Cartinga, Colombia, from Colombia, preaching the gospel, telling people that Jesus still saves, Jesus still heals, Jesus still delivers, and Jesus still baptizes in the Holy Spirit, the full gospel. Jesus, Jesus is the way the truth and the life and no one comes to God but by him Jesus is the one way to God and the way to Jesus Christ is repenting 
and placing your faith exclusively in what he did for you on Calvary's cruel cross of Golgotha. Preaching the gospel in Columbia. This is Evangelist Mike Dial. Amen and amen.